is a brief tour of Tukiaku Caribou Crossing by Indian artist Maureen Gruda. Tukiaku is the Indian Latin word for Tuktoyaktuk, which is the name of Maureen Gruda's home community in the Western Arctic. The name is based on the word Tuktuk, which is the Indian Latin word for Caribou. You can see right from the get go that this is an incredibly important relationship. multiple elements of the character for the show, um, from the hive to the antlers to the heart sack. She's kind of, you know, drawing some visual references to parts of the character anatomy. Um, and that is very much in keeping with the Nubiali tradition of using absolutely every part of every animal that they would harvest from the land. is called Mercy, um, and Mercy is made, it's constructed from slices of caribou down that have all been stitched together with sinew. It's got a beautiful abstractness to it. Um, the form you know, is somewhat biological, um, but it's really not definable, um, much like the quality of Mercy itself. Um, and it's just really about kind of holding those undefinable energies and honoring kind of every part of the character. This is superseded. So in the background, this where the field period thieves are all tin clean plates. So these are actual plates of the type that were used to claim clean land and clean territory. Um, and this over top this detail. This is, you'll see it on a caribou skull, sort of right about here. <laughs> um, and it's a really just, just beautiful, really delicate, fine line, but it's got that really winding quality to it. And it is really striking when you see it. Like, you can see the effect here as well, but it does also look like water, you know, kind of curled on the land. It does have this real effect of, of terrain and territory space. And so, kind of layering them here in this way really does kind of highlight the difference between what it means to know something like knowledge, what it means to own something, what it means to be a part of something. This is passage, and this is carry life. These images here, these are community elders. So there's Shepherd Felix, Ralph Mansana, Sarah Mandalana, and Emma Fleitinger. Um, and they were all part of a group known as the Tecta Tecta Dancers and Dancers, and they were some of the last um, fluent Nibialogen speakers. Um, their images here have been superimposed over x rays of Tech community members. And that just kind of, you know, just really speaks to bodies. And I really like the way it just sort of flattens that distinction of the kind of sentiment between us and other animals. So this piece is Infinite 13. Um, it's entirely made from caribou. Um, just stitched the seam along with that. What's really nice about this piece is you can see very clearly both the back of the caribou hide, um, just hand sprayed, it's just that beautiful kind of soft, bright white color, and it contrasts really nicely with just the deep, dense sort of softness of the interior space. It is really, you know, analogous to a parka hood. Um, you can kind of imagine encountering someone sort of wearing a, a parka hood. It's about human height. So that gives it a really kind of human presence. So again, you just really see here this, this nice merging of, of the human and the caribou into a singular entity. 